the E Squared Young Engineers Program offers the community's young scholars the opportunity to develop talents in the academic areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Here to tell us more is owner Christopher Young L and office manager Tara Roberts. I mean, Dr. Christopher Young. Let me get it right. <laughs> Let me get it right. Well, what is E Squared? Well, uh, E Squared Young Engineers is a franchise opportunity introduced to us about two and a half years ago. And the focus of it is teaching kids engineering, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics skills in an atmosphere that we call edu education, which is fun and entertaining at the same time. And so the concept is to allow kids to engage, be engaged in the learning process. By the use of materials, we use Lego blocks, connect blocks, uh, video game design programs, Apple programs, and each one of these focus on a different academic area at a different grade level to teach a different uh, STEM-based concept. Let's talk a little bit about both of your backgrounds because they do tie into what you're doing and, and I've got a question for you. So give me a brief synopsis of your background and how you ended up here. Um, I've been in banking for 30 years. Um, started looking into charter school is what really made me actually become uh, engaged in the educational program. And once I became engaged and did my research in education, that's how we kind of stumbled upon e Square Young Engineers. And then I've been hooked since then. <laughs> and you, doctor? Yeah. Well, I've been in education now 30 years. Um, I work as the assistant principal at Barack Obama Elementary School in the Normandy School District. And for me, uh, as Tara stated, we were looking for programs to provide for inner city and urban youth to get them an experience to having something to deal with STEM. We Research shows us that urban children tend to fall behind in the STEM-based areas. And so for us, the decision was made that we needed to do something to come up with a program in which we could provide those services to inner city youth and those in the surrounding areas so that they could have the same type of STEM exposures. And ever since then, we just, we've been in it. And as an educator, tell me what you were seeing that let you know this is something that is needed over here. This is something that will really benefit these students if we can just get it in the school system. Well, one of the things that stood out most to me as an educator is working with most of my background behavior uh, work has been with acted, uh, be dealing with males, how they learn, how they don't learn behavior situations. And what we, the research shows us is that Male students tend to suffer in the areas of math and science. Now they suffer in reading, but historically math and science because math is an abstract principle and kids don't get it because they don't get to put their hands on it. And science, because most teachers had bad science teachers, so they teach science badly. And so at the end, kids started suffering about that. And so for me, some, we had to look, I had to look for something different that was engaging enough for, to keep the kids involved, but also challenging enough that the te it wouldn't stumble the teachers so that we could bring the performance level of, quota of kids up to their same age peers in urban and, su and suburban and rural school districts. And Tara, how does your piece fit into this program? Well, I'm, of course, the office manager, so I keep track of the books to make sure that the business is flowing uh, in the financial aspect, but also uh, through application, because being in the business and being an analyst, everything I do is apply, 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 apply. And so when I got into the East Square Young Engineers and noticed that students, the, with the use of Legos and the learning, they forget that it's ap applicable to everyday life, everything that they do. So we kind of use that concept that I've learned to make sure that the students can actually take what they learn from our class and go into their own classrooms and actually tell their teachers what they learn. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, let's mo learn more about how this is impacting children and in turn the community and in turn society, and we'll deep dive a little bit deeper into E Squared. Stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with E Squared Young Engineers after this break.